Hello YouTube, this is Dr. Sola coming to you from Lagos, Nigeria. So today, I'm going to show you the reasons why you deal with professionals instead of cuisines. You look at this battery, right? It's pretty big. And you're like, oh wow, you know, I should be able to power anything with it. And if you base it on size, yeah, that is correct. It's like saying a fat woman can do things a skinny woman cannot do. That's not necessarily true. Uh, so before I get into it, uh, one thing, if you've not subscribed, please click sub subscribe. I noticed that over 72% of you that watched my videos are not subscribers. YouTube, it matters to YouTube. Also, don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you like the content that I posted or if you like what you've seen. If you have comments, post it in the comment section below. So let's talk about this battery. It's by Yohaku. Okay, it's what, 15 kilowatt hours? 48 volts. My client, well, my the owner of this, we had given him a quote, he didn't have the money, so he went to someone else. And that person gave him two Felicity 10 kilowatt inverters and then gave him a Yohaku 5 kilowatt inverter. And they're all supposed to be running off this one battery. His load, do you want to guess what his load is? His load is 11 kilowatts. So he said he's looking for one hour backup. You know, that's what they say, but the reality is far from it. So this is 15 kilowatt hours. So theoretically, right, pulling 11 kilowatt hours, 11 kilowatts, right? Should give him at least one hour, right? Yes. Maybe an hour, 10 minutes. Why do you think it didn't work? Each time they tried pulling um, eight or nine kilowatts, each time they actually pulled more than five kilowatts, the inverter would trip. Can you guess why that was happening? Do you want to guess? Okay, so let's start by, don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to click like, like icon. So I want to show you something. And hopefully if I show it to you, I'm going to keep quiet and let you figure it out. It says right there, your Hako lithium battery, right? 14.4 kilowatt hours. So, you know, usable won't be 14.4 kilowatt hours. 48 volts, 300 amp hours. You go, woo! I'm so excited, right? And then your discharge voltage range is 42 to 54.75. Look at the recommended charge. What does it say? Recommended charge is what? 50 amps. And what's the recommended? Well, it says recommend. Recommend discharge. How much is that? A hundred amps. So let's go back to this. A hundred times forty-two is what? Assuming you discharge it to forty-two volts, that is four thousand two hundred watts. If you discharge it to five thousand fifty-four point seven five, is five thousand four hundred seventy-five, right? What was the load I told you my client was running, or my client that decided to go somewhere else? What was the load I told you was running? Eleven kilowatts. So once you put eleven kilowatts on this, what do you think will happen? The system will trip. The battery will trip because the BMS cannot handle something this big. Now, if you look at your pylon tax, right? For every 100 amp power in battery, they give you a 50 amp charge, 50 amp discharge. So 300 amps should theoretically be 150, right? But look at what is our genius is here did. Our genius is give us 50 amps and a 100 amps uh, discharge on a 300 amp power battery. <coughs> So now you can understand why it's not working for the clients. I'll show you a little bit more about the battery and then we'll sum up. Please don't forget to subscribe. Smash the like button if you like what I'm saying. Back, we've opened it. So let's start with the BMS first. So it's a pretty generic, generic BMS. I'm not so sure though that this has the ability to handle cells that are this big. This is just me giving an unvarnished opinion. It's big enough. Oh, look at that. It even has a battery on it. Some we've not seen in a while. We don't know if there's a heat sink beneath it. Yeah, there is. There is a heat sink beneath it. But the bigger, the big one, the shocker, are the cells they're using. You could tell these are they don't look new. Or someone has opened them before. Look at these. These are very long BYD cells. Look at that. Let me see if we get the scale. Look how long they are. Could you bring me bring me that blue battery there so we can compare? So these are BYD cells. They look like they're they might be reclaimed cells. As you see, the labels are peeling off. The labels are peeling off. So we don't know what size, but there are 15 of them. And look how long. 34 amp amps are. You scanned it? Yes. So these are 234 amp hours, where they're selling it as 300 amp hours, which doesn't make any sense. This is amazing. I've, not, I've never seen these before. So good quality cells, but I don't think they, they don't look like new cells. As you can see, it doesn't look that clean on the inside. Someone has put labels on them, a lot of writing. Now let's compare it to. Oh, I pick this one up for me. So let's compare it to this. Put it on top. Put it on top. Light, light on the side. No. Yeah, that's fine. Look at that. Look at the size differential between what we normally see 
and those. So these are very good quality styles. The boss bars on them are very well done too. Let me see if I can show you. You see the boss bars? But these are definitely not new cells. These are repurposed cells. They took them off either electric vehicles, electric buses, and then they decided to use them to make batteries for people. So you have, to, you have some assignments, you have some homework to do. I'm not so sure, I'm not very convinced that you guys know what you're doing. You're selling 300, you're selling 230 amp hour batteries as 300 amp hour. So 230 amp hour is what? A little over 10 kilowatt hours? So it's two, two, it's what, 10, 10 kilowatt hours? So it's a little over 10 kilowatt hours, they're selling it as um, 14 or 15 kilowatt hours. Everything else, they did fairly okay. They did fairly okay with everything else. Well, shocker, surprise, I'm just as surprised as you. If you like what you see, give me a thumbs up. If you've not subscribed, click the subscribe button. Once again, this is Dr. Sola coming to you from Lagos, Nigeria. BMS and so so generic GM, GM, BMS. Look at it one more time. Good quality, see this. See right there? See this? Look there, it's connected directly to, it's connected directly to the board. So you can see why they can they are limited as to what they could push through it. See that? Turn this one. Turn this turn this one for me. 